Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. Uh, I wasn't really sure what this video was going to be. I actually started the day off thinking I was going to be able to do a, what I eat in a day, but I have no appetite. So I kind of took a little break, unplanned, unwanted, believe me. Um, I filmed actually two, vi <coughs> two videos last week, but I, um, as you guys knew, I knew I would not be doing as many because it was my birthday weekend. I had a lot of things planned with friends and coworkers and family and stuff. And so, um, I knew I wouldn't be able to get more than just two up, but I definitely did not plan on what happened. So Tuesday, I was fine. Tuesday was my actual birthday. It was fine. Um, Tuesday night, I had trouble sleeping, which I think it was just my normal perimenopausal insomnia that happens um, a few times a month. It's been actually very rare lately, which has been very nice. Um, but, you know, I just kind of was very, very bad sleep. So Wednesday, which was the day of our team, um, well, like we do our monthly new hire orientations and we figure since we are all here as a team, because some of my coworkers or my team members work um, remotely, but since everybody's down here, we are gonna do a celebration for my birthday. And I kind of was feeling a little off all day, but not, it was just me, I just kept thinking, I'm just tired, I'm just tired. And then um, at lunchtime, I just wasn't as hungry, and I just kept just thinking, man, I just need to get some sleep. <laughs> you know, I will feel so much better after I get some sleep. So I went home and was not hungry at all that night. Um, and I ended up just kind of dozing. I didn't want to like go sleep, sleep because I was afraid if I go to sleep, like at five o'clock, you know, five, five thirty, I wouldn't be able to sleep all night and you know, mess up my sleep again. Well, um, I kind of did like fall asleep, but I was just, it was not very good sleep. I was just not feeling well at all. Like not at all. Woke up Thursday morning, not feeling good. I was so congested. I started going, when I fell asleep, when I started like kind of falling asleep Wednesday night, I was getting kind of congested. Thursday, so congested. Like I, did, I had never like felt <laughs> that extreme of congestion before. Plus I was just so dang tired. Like I, and I had slept. I mean, I had slept really good and I was like, okay, I shouldn't not be this tired, but I just was not feeling great. Had a headache, which I assumed was from the congestion, which I think it really was um, for the most part. And then, um, oh, I have a, like a fuzzy or something in my eye from probably from my cat, I imagine. Um, so then when I got up on Thursday, Thursdays and Fridays are my work from home days. So I knew I could sleep in just a little bit, but then just still was not feeling great. So I thought I'm just going to let myself sleep. And then whenever I do get up, I would start my work day and just see how it, how it went. So I, um, texted my team and just told them I wasn't feeling great, but we'll just see how long, um, it takes to get going in the morning. And so I ended up starting about nine and I worked till about 11 and then I was like, okay, I have got to go lay down. What is wrong with me? Like I, you guys know, I don't get like sick a lot. Like I may have, you know, we just don't feel good sometimes, but like not, not like sick, sick, sick like this. It's been a long time. And so, um, so I went and like around 11 and just went and laid down. I was just like, I'm just not feeling good. What is wrong with me? So I'm just going to take my lunch. Well, I ended up like, and you know, ended up just laying there for a couple hours I thought, okay, I feel a little refreshed. I'm gonna get up, came back in here to work. I worked for about an hour until about two, and then I was like, I can't do it anymore, can't do it. So I went and laid down, and then I kept thinking, I was getting worse and worse, and I started coughing, and then my throat started hurting, and then I had a fever. And so I'm like, okay, what is going on? I, and it still just did not feel like a regular cold, and I thought, there's just something going on. So then I thought, oh my goodness. Do I have COVID? So then I went and took a test, which we had one test and it came back positive. So I um, ended up Thursday night doing worse and worse and worse. And my husband's at gone. He was not going to be home till Saturday night from his, you know, out on his um, runs. And so um, I, t I called him and let him know and I let my team know. And, um, 
then Friday, I was so bad. Friday was probably the worst day. The worst. I was, I was just having, it was just not good. Not a good time. <laughs> not a good time for sure. Um, I ended up with a little bit of a higher fever, but didn't get really super high. And I was thinking, you know, everybody was volunteering to bring me stuff. And I was like, well, I like need a lot of stuff. Like I had, I mean, I, well, I was mainly thinking like, okay, if I'm not going to get, you know, obviously I'm not going to go grocery shopping this weekend. I didn't want to send my poor husband grocery shopping. I could like, I could do a grocery pickup whenever he happens to get here. But some, I mean, there's been times when it's like, you know, something could happen and maybe he doesn't make it home and you know, whatever. I'm like, I need to do something. Um, because I also needed, um, some female things I needed, um, I wanted to get like some over the counter, like congestion stuff. I didn't know if any of it was going to work anyway, but I just needed some things and I also needed, um, you know, just, I was really like wanting just some kind of like fruits and vegetables and just things like that. Just something I could easily like eat if I got my appetite back. I had zero appetite though. And when I did feel a little hungry, I would eat something, but then it'd make my stomach hurt. So then I just pretty much just stopped. I was like, I just don't think I can eat anything. And um, so what I ended up doing was on Walmart, every time I go to do my Walmart pickup order, it asked me, do you want to do Walmart Plus? And you can get free delivery. And I thought, okay, I can do like a 30 day free trial and then have my groceries delivered on Saturday. And then there you go, it's done. And so that's what I ended up doing. Um, I don't think I'm gonna keep it though because the features that it has, I just don't feel like I'm gonna use. Like for one thing, I, yes, the delivery was nice, but I still had to pay the tip. So I ended up paying, you know, I felt like I had to give a good tip. I mean, it gives you the, it gives you like kind of suggestions, but I'm thinking this person, you know, is bringing my groceries here, climbing up all of our stairs <laughs> and give them to me. So. You know, I feel like I'm not going to obviously do a tip if I'm driving there to pick them up. And it's, I'm also going to other stores too because Walmart does not have the best produce. My Walmart does not. And so I um, did, I only ordered like salad kits and like packaged produce that um, I did order some apples and peaches, which they did pretty good. The peaches, not so great, um, but the apples they did pretty good on. Um, so I just would not want to do that all the time. And there's really no point in having grocery delivery if I'm also going to go, you know, to another store. So it was great for, a, you know, a 30 day free trial, but I will definitely be canceling it because it's just the rest of the perks of it just doesn't, isn't anything that we're going to use. But it was nice in a pinch to be able to do that. So um, anyway, so I did just get some really easy stuff delivered just like salad kits and I did some ground chicken that I can make some like taco meat. I mean, just something easy because I knew I was not going to, even if I start feeling 100% better this week, I knew I was not going to feel like probably making anything. And plus I didn't know how my appetite was going to be. And I still don't have my appetite back. Um, I'll tell you guys the worst part of this. Um, well, once the congestion went away, which it started breaking up kind of on Saturday, Saturday night, um, I still have a little bit now, but it's not that like extremely painful. It was so bad. Um, but the worst was I had got major vertigo from it and really bad dizzy spells. And I had that um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then yesterday was probably one of the worst days with the vertigo. Um, it was so bad that pretty much every night I would start off sleeping in bed but then around 1, 1 I would have to get up because I would wake up to go to the bathroom because I've been drinking a ton of water and tea. Coffee right now does not taste good to me. Um, I, I mean, it didn't, nothing else affected my taste buds. Like my taste buds have been fine, but the coffee is just, it's not that it doesn't taste good to me. It's not appealing to me. Like I want it and I go to drink it and then it's just like, oh, this is not what I wanted. Do you know what I mean? So I, um, just been drinking a lot of tea and water so literally like up every two hours going to the bathroom and so I'd wake up like around 1 1 30 and the bed would be spinning and it was like oh my gosh it would be spinning and spinning and spinning and that feeling is so terrible so I would have to get up and come out to the um, front room and then I would 
like our sectional has like recliners on it also, but I couldn't like lay all the way back, but I could be like halfway up. So as long as I'm not like, was not sitting straight up, but not sitting all the way back is kind of that halfway in between. That was perfect. Like I had no spinning, but then when I would get up to go to the bathroom or anything, I would be super dizzy. Um, that's been gone today. Like this was the first day I did not have it. Like I have not had it. I've had just a tiny NC itsy itsy bit of like dizziness but mainly I've just stood up too fast and I think just because I'm still not a hundred percent but the vertigo is gone thank goodness that was so bad you guys it was so bad um but today I decided to try to work and I made it the whole day I actually took a little bit of a longer lunch um just because I wanted to rest up and I was feeling just a little bit tired um but I slept really good last night um so I made it the whole day. I just worked from home. Um, and I'll probably work. I'm not, I know I'm a for sure I'm going to work from home tomorrow. Wednesday, I'll just take it to see how I feel. Um, I may go ahead and go in on Wednesday just to kind of get out of the house. Um, and then I think I'll be fine the rest of the week. Like it's, um, I think I'll be okay. But anyway, so that's where I've been. It was definitely unplanned. <laughs> definitely unplanned. Um, so I did start like thinking I'm going to film on what I eat in a day, but I've literally only had a banana. Um, I've had lots of water. I've had a banana and I've had, um, some salad <laughs> and that was it. Like I, and I'm not hungry right now. Like I have zero appetite. So I think I just need to listen to my body and I'm not going to worry about what I'm eating and tracking and stuff right now. I'm just going to, if something sounds good, I'm going to eat it. Um, but I literally don't have a lot in my house because I just bought the bare minimum what I had. I'm hoping I feel okay enough. Maybe later I'll make up the taco meat and at least I have that for the next few days. So if anything, maybe I'll do it tomorrow because I don't want to wear myself out too much as I did kind of be up and around today. But I thought, so instead, I'll do a little catch up on where I've been, what's been going on. Um, I do want to show you my birthday flowers are so beautiful but also one of the reasons why I want to show them to you is because um and I've showed all these to you I went I went to go show all these to you guys last week but it didn't happen um but my this is like a co-worker gift um it's like my team and we did this for my boss's birthday last month and it was so cute and we did so they did it again for me which is great I think they're a great idea and I wanted to show you guys because if you're ever like it's a, a few you know it could be for Co-workers could be friends, like if a group of friends all to get together, you guys give like a birthday gift, or it could be even good for like a baby shower gift, or um, I don't know, you could do it for anything. Christmas, if you do like a group gift for Christmas, um, this makes a great group group gift. So I'm gonna pop up a little video here as I'm talking of it. So it's just a bouquet of flowers and people do get the gift cards. Um, I also on mine had some um <laughs> lottery tickets but just put them in the flower bouquet and it just looks so cool and it's such a great idea now just a better than just handing somebody a gift card it's just such a great idea so um, I'm going to put that up here so you can see that um, also I have some other things this is what happens when you don't feel good and you order stuff off a TikTok shop and I'll tell you what you guys I ordered some of this stuff like on Wednesday and it's already here <laughs> so so what happens when you don't feel good? Uh, but also I have some, some books to show you. So um, I don't think I've showed you my last two book of the month orders. So let me show you those. I also ordered a book off of TikTok. Um, I was totally influenced by um, the fact that it's going to be a Hallmark Christmas movie. You guys know how much I love Hallmark Christmas movies. And I also um, like to read Christmas books. Alrighty, my husband called, so I'm not sure where I was at. I think I was talking about my book of the month orders. So I have a lot of books to show you, plus that one book from TikTok. So, oh, I think I was, maybe I was talking about that. I don't know. Um, anyway, I love Christmas movies and when, and when reading Christmas books, I have a little stack over here, down here, you can't see them yet, but I have a little stack of Christmas books that I um, purchased from Book Outlet that I'm going to um, read around the holiday time. Oh my gosh, you guys, my, um, I tried to put the minimal, most minimal amount of makeup on today just to look human. <laughs> I barely look that. Um, 
Anyway, so when I heard that this book was being turned into a Hallmark Christmas movie, I had to buy it. And apparently this is a part of a set. So if I like this book, but you, you can read them as standalone. If I like this book, I may definitely purchase more of hers. Um, anyway, so this is the book. Anne Marie, Anne Marie Meyer, Christmas Land. Super cute. Isn't that the cutest, like, um, um, what do you call it? <laughs> the cutest cover. I think it's so stinking cute. Um, anyway, um, it's just a short little book. It has pretty big font. It's like two, about 230, which is pretty typical for a Christmas book. Um, anyway, it also came with some stickers. Got some stickers. Plus, she has a little bookmark attached that has all of her account. If you can see that because of the light. Um, but it has all of her, um, and don't buy my nails, all of the books she's written, and you can mark them off. So I thought that was a super cute thing. And then she was also like this little, like, um, play along. Um, I can't read what that says. Must be the names of the characters from the book. So I don't know if you're supposed to do this when you're reading or when you're watching the movie, but anyway, like a little bingo card. And then she said a little thank you card. So... I will definitely be reading that. We'll be doing a book challenge for the holidays, but it's not going to only be Christmas really because I know a lot of people don't like to what, what, um, read only Christmas books. <laughs> so it'll be kind of like more like um, let's make it to the end, you know, finish out our um, book goals for the year, but I will definitely be, put some Christmas stuff on there. So there's that book. And then for my book of the month books, for last month, I picked this one. Um, I really like Lane Morty, um, but this one was, I think this was the previous month. This was an add-on. I did this as an add-on, but um, this sounds really good. And then this one, I um, was my, this was one of the September book picks, um, but this is like a thriller. It sounds really good as well, but it's called Mad Woman. And then this one I picked because I wanted to read it during spooky season. So hopefully I get a chance to read this. I have not been reading much except for until Sunday when I start feeling better. I did read an entire book in a day because I really missed reading. And I'm trying to do my fall book challenge. And this is one of the books on my book challenge. And this is like a horror book. So I think I'm going to try to read this one next. Um, we'll see. I am just really... Um, it's just hard for me right now to, it was hard for me to read with the, with the dizziness and stuff, but, um, I seem to be doing better on my Kindle than reading a physical book. So I don't know if I'll get to this or not, but hopefully I will. And then for my October books, this was the October book pick that I, oh my gosh, you guys, yeah, words are not happening, but this is the October book. Um, it's called Dearest. Um, but it sounded kind of spooky and creepy. And then my add-on, which I'm super excited about because I was really wanting to read this one. Um, the last one at the wedding, I read Hidden Pictures by this author last year. Oh my gosh, it was such a good book. Or maybe it was, was it this year? It may have been this year. I don't know, I'm pretty sure it's last year, but it was such a good book. So I have really high hopes for this one just because I really like the author. Okay, so that's all my books. And then I do have one thing that's out in my mailbox, but honestly, I just don't want to go get it right now. Um, but it's a new flavor of Motivate, and it's called Rainbow. It's like a rainbow sherbet flavor. So I will pop up a picture right here. Um, and so it's like their Motivate Burn, which you guys know I love, and I take several times a week. I used to take it every day, but right now with me not working out, I'm not taking it, but I do take it when I do um, my walking and stuff, but obviously I have not been walking on my treadmill, so I have not been taking it, but I still have been taking my Motivate Greens, which you guys know how much I love, so, um, but I will pop up a picture of the new flavor, and I will definitely let you guys know when I end up trying that, what I think about it, but I cannot wait to try it, because Rainbow Sherbet is, like, iconic, right? It's like a total, like, good flavor. Um, also, another thing I ordered, so I'm always on the hunt for some good protein powder, as you guys know, but I keep seeing the, this brand, this clean, what's it called? 
clean simple eats powder i keep seeing this all over instagram and tiktok and i've heard really 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 great things about it and they had this go on sale and this is their sample pack where this is one serving of protein and um you can try out the flavors so i thought about i've been seeing people put these in they're actually their protein coffee instead of using liquid shakes and i don't know why i never thought about doing that um, the other thing I wanted to maybe do with it was bring, I like the, what I like about these kind of flavored protein powders is sprinkle them in like, um, in like plain yogurt and stuff and just having like yogurt bowls. So these are 20 grams of protein, hundred percent grass fed whey. So really good ingredients, no artificial ingredients or anything. Um, this is coconut cream. We have caramel toffee. chocolate brownie butter, a snickerdoodle, banana foster, simply vanilla. Gosh, they have so many flavors. And I'm assuming you buy big tubs of all these flavors too. Peaches and cream, cookies and cream, maple donut i guess i didn't realize that these were all like these were 10 different flavors and german chocolate cake so i don't know if these are all the flavors they have but yes um i'm excited to try these so let me know if you've tried this brand before i know several of you have because when i was looking for other protein powders several of you told me that they that you guys have tried this um so I will definitely let you know. And I've never tried, let me know, do you use a powdered protein in your protein coffee? I mean, of course you have to mix it up with liquid. Um, like they mix it up with milk or like almond milk or water <coughs> and pour it in there. Let me know. Um, another product that you guys know I have been pretty obsessed with lately. I've been drinking it every day and I have been drinking this every day even being sick. And that is the Daily Fiber from Bellywell. I purchased this myself. I unfortunately don't have any kind of affiliate with them or anything like that. No discount code. Um, I just purchased this myself. You can get it at Walmart if you can find it. My Walmart um, has it occasionally. Um, but I right now I'm drinking the, I want to say it's the orange one. Um, but I picked up, they had a big, huge flash sale because again, I could not, with me not being able to sleep off and on, up at odd times, I was watching like lives on TikTok and they totally got me because they did a huge discount on this during one of their lives and I got them for like 40% off. So they had like, they had multiple packs too. So like they had two, two packs is what they had. And so anyway, I ended up getting the um, strawberry lemonade. Here's what they are. So these have fiber probiotics um, collagen and electrolytes on them. So all of the things that you need for your belly and your energy and your fiber. So I got the strawberry lemonade. I've not tried. So these are flavors I've not tried yet. I can tell you I like the orange though. Um, we got the peach mango. Um, these are all exactly the same, by the way. This is like a mixed berry. And then watermelon. So I don't believe, I believe they have snack bars too, but I have not tried those and I'm not really interested in those. Just that I just want to get the fiber in and I like that it has the probiotics and all that other stuff too. And then lastly, the last thing that TikTok got me, which I am banning myself from buying anything in a very long time. This does me for the month. Um, is this calming drink mix which i'm hoping this will help me sleep because it does have magnesium in it i've been noticing that when i take some of my multivitamins and stuff i'm like having like that burping thing i don't know if you guys ever have that but um <clears throat> it just makes me not want to take the pills or sometimes i can feel like they get stuck in like right here even when you're drinking lots of water and the magnesium pills are so huge and so I'm hoping that this helps, um, and it's called a super calm, but it not only has uh, magnesium, also has ashw ashwagandha, which is something that my doctor has told me to take anyway because of my thyroid. It's really good for people who have autoimmune diseases. 
Um, this also has L-theanine, magnesium, and then vitamin D3. So here's all the things that it has. And it says you drink it twice a day, which is interesting with magnesium because typically you take that at night to help you sleep. But I don't know. I'm going to try it. I'll let you guys know what I think. This is the tropical tangerine flavor. So again, not affiliated with any of these things. They just got me. <laughs> so I picked them up. But anyway, that is all I have to show with you, share with you guys today. I'll get this video up and get it up tomorrow. So then, or tomorrow or the next day. Um, so that way I can catch you guys up and hopefully I'll be back to normal programming next week. Like I said, I'll kick out some videos this week if it feels, if it feels right, if I have enough to share with you guys. Um, far as I know, I'll have a grocery haul up on Saturday. We'll see about the meal prep. I'm just, like I said, I'm just going to take it day by day and just see how I feel. I don't want to wear myself out too unnecessarily, but I may just do some really simple meal prep. Um, but it may just be a couple weeks before I just get back into the swing of things. Just like I said, I don't really want to push myself. I've heard people when they've um, had this and then really push themselves that they've pushed themselves back into, you know, just not feeling well. So I don't want to do that. Um, so anyway, I will check in with you guys um, in the next video. Hope you guys are all doing well. Bye guys. Bye.